Hello, Assurance family and social media friends. It's Friday, and we hope that you are continuing to be well uh, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Uh, we are excited uh, to connect with you today for our daily assurance. Uh, the scripture that we have for you today, uh, again, comes from the Gospel of John, uh, a little farther along uh, in that narrative um, from where we were on Wednesday. Uh, but it says in John chapter 16, Jesus offers these words, and this is Jesus speaking. He says, I've said these things to you so that you will have peace in me. In the world you have distress, but be encouraged. I have conquered the world. I'm not sure if there is a more applicable piece of scripture for where we are right now. We look around us and we see distress, we see chaos, um, and sometimes what might even be described as madness uh, around us. Um, but the hope here in this text is that Jesus has conquered the world. And more than conquering the world, we know that Jesus has also conquered death. And there's great hope in that. We, we do not find our hope in this world, but we find our hope in Jesus and in the promise of eternal life, that promise we found uh, because Jesus conquered death. What's important to note here is that we do not, uh, eternal life does not begin uh, when, when we die. It begins right now. It is here and now. It is present among us. And so we are living in eternity with God just as we were created to do right here and right now. And the ways that we do that, or that we see that come to life in, in our day-to-day -day journey, is the ways that we model Jesus and the way that Jesus taught us to live. I reminded you or us on Wednesday that uh, Jesus said to love God and to love our neighbor. And one of the ways that we see Jesus conquering the world and the distress of this world in these uncertain times is the way we see people loving one another and caring for their neighbors. I invite you to think for just a minute, uh, the last time in human history that you remember individuals or business owners or restaurants giving away free food so that our school-age children could receive healthy uh, nourishment throughout the school day. I can't think of any time in recent history where that has taken place. I don't know about your neighborhood, but in my neighborhood, our next door app is abuzz daily with people willing to share hand sanitizer and toilet paper and baby diapers and all of those things that are becoming more difficult to find in the stores. There are people who are volunteering to go and pick up items for the elderly so that they do not have to leave their home. And it's a wonderful thing to see people coming together, caring for one another, just as Jesus has instructed us to do. So our hope that we find in the midst of this chaos is in the fact that Jesus, in fact, conquered the world. But more importantly, Jesus conquered death. And so let me read for you that scripture one more time. May you hear these words, let them soak in this day. I've said these things to you so that you will have peace in me. In the world you have distress, but be encouraged. I have conquered the world. God is so, so good to us. God is faithful. May we find our place in the midst of this chaos uh, where we might go and model what it looks like to be a follower of Jesus. May we show the world around us the hope, the good news that Jesus has conquered the world. Have a great day, my friends.